Okay, Sam, uh, you're, you're a, a campaigner for the SNP. I'm not 20, so I can, so I can find a vote for Mary. And I just, That's Mary Black. Yeah, Mary Black. Um, and I feel like, um, as she's young myself, she would understand a lot of issues that many, many partners won't. Um, and also, she would help break the barrier with her being young, which which she, which she already has. Or really, it's yeah, the brief. Yeah, the back of in 2014 when they promised us that. I know, I Right, Let's start with that Barry Black. What's it like in Westminster? Well, in Westminster, it is. To be honest, it's a hellish atmosphere just now. Uh, because nobody can agree on anything. You've got such a horrible system that's just caught in a, a deadlock for no good reason. Um, so I'm very glad to be out of there, to tell you the truth, <laughs> uh, and to be up the road campaigning for six weeks. And then, you know, obviously Nicola Sturgeon said on Saturday mm -hmm. that the uh, independence is heart and centre of this uh, campaign. Yeah. But uh, heart and centre of your campaign uh, for your Mm -hmm. uh, constituency. Yeah, definitely. I think because fundamentally independence is at the heart of our party, you know, it's at the heart of everything that we stand for. So what campaigning for us is about is going to people and pointing out, look, the reason that we believe in independence is because all of these things that you think are wrong we're actually capable of changing them if we just had a little bit of belief in ourselves. And right now, that message has been heard pretty loud and clear, and we're getting a good response. Yeah, I say you, you know, I lived abroad a long time, mm -hmm. and when I came back, I was surprised at how the uplift had happened in the general, uh, how do you say, self confidence of the normal Definitely. Scottish person. Yeah. And so I, I was very pleased to feel that when, yeah. I, when I came back, but I think it's growing as well, don't you? Oh, so they, I think it's undeniable now. The, the change in the Scottish electorate and our level of political engagement has just gone through the roof over the last five years but it's now a challenge of trying to keep that because of course it's quite tiring to constantly be having to talk about intense politics with people but we're living through an intense period just now and if you care about the price of food your wages your rights then you need to pay attention and you need to get involved so we are we're having a, re a really good Time as best can be the, had. <laughs> the first, the first rule of a government is to mm -hmm. protect its people. You would think, <laughs> but it, it doesn't seem to me that that idea is actually prevalent in any of Mr. Johnson's uh, ideas. Yeah, because definitely. to pull us, I mean, you see, the, the bother with the European Union is there's nobody's come up with an alternative. Yeah. Definitely. Now, if someone did that, then you could say, look, we're going to go this way. But the other thing is that the EU is also in. In a sense, it's almost like a, one of the most successful social experiments that we've had because it's been the most peaceful period in Europe, you know, in history. Uh, so surely that's something that should be, you know, paid attention to yeah, or I mean, given credit to. Apart from my life, I've, I've travelled all over Europe. Yeah. And I remember the days when you had Deutschmarks and mm -hmm. Gilders and Lira. Mm -hmm. and all these different things and it was such a complicated idea yeah. I mean even now having the pound sterling mm -hmm. against the euro I never understood why people didn't want to grab a bit of that good stuff yeah I mean t to be honest I think most folk couldn't care less what the currency is if it's more matters whether you've got it in your pocket or not I mean we've had 23 currencies here since King David yeah. first so why not just another one That's <laughs> the, but also and, and, you know, where I stay my neighbours they've never actually left Mm -hmm. that place. Right. They were born there, they lived there and they mm -hmm. will pass away there. Yeah. And I suppose that's still a part of a, a lot of people in Scotland. They, they mm -hmm. do have a, a, a small reference. But then again, people do travel, don't they? Yeah. And, and, well, and, and Scots were yeah. thrown around the, the world because of the clearances totally. and all those things. Um. But um, tell me, is there something you'd like to say um, uh, to the people in general about yeah, what they should be doing next? I think if there's one thing you should be doing, it should be voting yes <laughs> the next referendum. Um, but in order to do that, we have to get to a position where our right to choose is recognised. And I think that's a pretty 
damning argument uh, against most unionists and one that they can't answer. So I would tell people to try and stay in it as engaged as, as possible because this is one election that really matters. Um, and above and beyond that, I might be a bit biased, but I would ask them to vote for SNP. <laughs>